Today I am reviewing Impressa from the House of Panhalagans launched in 2018. There is an EDT version which was launched in 2014. The master performer for Impressa is Christian Provenzano who has designed some 14 perfumes for the House of Panhalagans. Impressa is one of the best seller and one of the most popular fragrances from the House of Panhalagans. For the presentation, I have this 2ml official wine from the scent library and I do recommend you guys to get a sample set and try all of their fragrances for a small price around $50. This is the EDP version and there is also an EDT which is lighter version of this. For the presentation, the bottle is a signature Panhalgan style crystal clear bottle with a green bow wrapped around on the top. This is available in 30ml for $140 and 100ml for $270. This also has a 150ml bottle which is around $300 which is not cheap. This is very similar to Chanel Coco Mademoiselle but this is more expensive because of the high quality notes and being a niche fragrance but I will show you guys many cheaper alternatives to this expensive fragrance. I have the Ajmal Raindrops which is very much similar to this fragrance. I have the tester over here and this is also very very much similar to Club Genui for women from Armaf. So I will tell you all about this fragrance and how much is this similar to these other fragrances. Starting with the notes, Penhalgans mentioned the, on the website in the top this has bergamot, in the heart this has peach, in the base it has patchouli. Website there is a lot more notes in the top this has bergamot, blood orange, mandarin orange, in the heart it has dewberry, peach, rose, neroli, geranium, nutmeg blackcurrant, cardamom, pink pepper and black pepper. In the base it has patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, olabnium, musk, maltol, amber and cacao. So this has there are a lot of notes in this fragrance but let's get to the smell and I will tell you what I can get from this fragrance. So I have been already testing out these four fragrances side by side and they are very much similar. We will talk about them in a minute. I have tested all of these four side by side. So I'll get a fresh whiff of Impressa on this. Okay. So the opening steps into a very, very bright citrus orchid, high quality notes. The bergamot is crisp. And elegant with a playful and juicy sweetness of mandarin orange and the blood orange is giving it a deeper mysterious citrus hint together these three create a very sparkling sophisticated entrance setting the stage for the rest of the fragrance i really love the opening the opening is very high quality notes it is excellent in the heart this is a fruit bomb a very good quality indeed a fruity juicy scent of dewberry, another fruity sweet note of juicy peach. The sweet peach mingles with the regal elegance of rose. It is a velvety touch of a royal garden in the bloom. And a touch of neroli adds a, whisp a whisper of green sophistication. While the geranium brings a pinch of spice. A tangy fruit note of blackcurrant with a very light spicy presence of nutmeg. And pink pepper in the background I cannot get the cardamom at all as the best note emerges it paints a picture of opulent warmth and sensual mystery the patchouli is giving it a light green earthy aroma with a soft creamy and warm sandalwood with a whisper of vanilla sweetness rather a sensual hint the olabium is not very obvious but it does have the sophistication of labnium. The musk is the most prominent but a really light sensual musk, not like Middle Eastern musk. It is very, not like airy and loud, this is a very elegant, very decent kind of a musk. And the amber gives it a balsamic aroma. The unexpected cacao note adds a touch of playful darkness, adding a touch of intrigue to the dry down of the overall scent. I do like this for the high quality notes. If I compare this, where is it? Okay, so this is the decant of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. This is Impressa. We have raindrops here and here is the 
Armagh Club de Nuit for Women. So this is basically an upper class of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. It's about 90% similar to Coco Mademoiselle. If Coco Mademoiselle is not royal enough for you and you want to get an even higher, higher quality, then I do recommend you to try the Impressa. It has the same scent profile. Coco Mademoiselle is about $170 for 100ml and Impressa for 100ml goes for $270. It is $100 more for the high quality notes. Though if you want the same scent profile, the same vibe for a budget friendly option, you can try Armaf's Club de Nuit for women which is the same scent profile and really affordable about $30 or even a better one is this one Ajmal Raindrops for about $40 now all of these fragrances are very really similar if you want the best top of the line to experience the high quality notes I do recommend you guys to get Impressa I personally prefer Impreza for the high quality notes. It smells very natural, very really luxurious and top of the line. And if you want a cheaper alternative, go for the Ajimal Raindrops or Armaf Club Genie for women. All of these fragrances are very really similar, it just depends on how much you are willing to spend. Overall Impreza in my opinion is in fact fit for a powerful leading lady as an Impreza. It does leave an impression undoubtedly. It does have the best quality notes, just a bit better than Coco Mademoiselle in my opinion. I tested all of these four fragrances side by side and for the quality, the winner is Panhalagans Impressa. It's not much of a niche, pretty much falls in the same, same designer line as Coco Mademoiselle but the only good thing is that this has very high quality notes, very natural smelling and very luxurious. And the performance is weaker than Coco Mademoiselle. If you want the high quality notes, go for Panhalagans Impressa or just stick to your same old Coco Mademoiselle for the better performance. Or you can get the cheaper, cheaper alternatives like Ajumal Raindrops or Armaf Club de Nuit for Women, which has the same vibe and the same scent profile. You can see the pros and the cons for this fragrance in the pictures here and also my words. If I do a fair rating for this fragrance, so on Fragrantica it is rated 5 and on Perfumo it is rated 7.1 out of 10, which is a fair good rating. The longevity is moderate, about 3 hours on the skin and up to 8 and 12 hours on the clothing, but a light soft longevity. Coco Mademoiselle, Club Genuine Intense and Ajmal Raindrops are all better in performance than this one, so I would rate this a 7 out of 10. The Siage is a bit more than moderate, a 6 out of 10 for the siage. For the first 2 hours, it is good, but after that, it gets a bit weaker. The projection is average projection for 3 hours. The gender, it is a totally a feminine fragrance. The audience, it is youthful and mature, but a bit on the mature side, in my opinion. The type, it is a floral, fresh, fruity, sweet, citrus, spicy fragrance. The seasons, it is best for the summer, spring and fall works well in the winter times also the occasions a fit for all occasions leisure business daily night out date for all occasions this can work pretty much the, the price tag is the only bad thing about this fragrance i would rate it a 3 out of 10 for the price tag the worst part is the price tag for this fragrance a 30 ml for 140 dollars and 100 ml for 270 dollars which is quite high in my opinion it is overpriced you can get better performance from Coco Mademoiselle, Club de Nuit for women and Ajmal Raindrops. But for the high quality notes, if you want to appreciate high quality notes and want to experience it, I do recommend you guys to try Impressa.